Right, so for the third mission, we're going to have a look at overclocking a CPU. So, dear sir, madam, here at the South Wirral Country Club, we host a very popular cheese and lamb soiree each year, which sees our members face off against one another in classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Siblings. I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year, I entirely owned the notoriously proficient Duke of Norfolk in the final match. I'm sure you can therefore understand why my personal computer needs to be in tip-top shape. The GPU is fine, it should be, as I paid upwards of $5,000 for it, but the CPU could use a little more oomph. If you could entice it to run faster, I'd be eternally grateful. Yours in anticipation, Robert Farrier OBE. So we've got to overclock the CPU to at least 4,330 MHz. Let's go to the PC. Here it is. Right, so, click to work on it. Welcome to overclocking the CPU. For this job, we need to overclock the customer's CPU, which means making the CPU run faster than its stop frequency. Connect the cables to the PC and select the monitor to get started. So we're used to this now, so we need to zoom out a bit. Rotate, lift up, oops, wrong way. Inverted controls, remember? And grab these cables get them plugged in and that one it's been a little more helpful now on the tutorial it's for the graphics card which is there and the power cable down here all good select the monitor and press P to power on we're going to have to press F2 to enter the BIOS Oh, <laughs> if only F2 didn't actually turn down our screen, we'll press delete instead. <laughs> Love it. Uh, welcome to the BIOS. This is where you can see the PC's hardware settings and tweak them to add more power. So CPU OC stands for overclock. Select the CPU OC menu. We're going to overclock the CPU to get more power. Select the CPU OC tab. To access the overclocking settings. Let's overclock. This menu allows you to change the settings of the PC CPU. Increasing the megahertz and voltage will make the PC faster, but you have to be careful to not stress CPU too much or it could make the PC unstable or even break the component. Right. Well, we don't want to do that. So, CPU speed. The CPU speed shows how fast the CPU runs and as a function of the base clock times the ratio. So here it's 100 megahertz times 40 to give it 40... 4000 megahertz you could tweak either value to change the overall frequency but normally you use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones increase cpu core ratio increase the cpu core ratio to 44 times the cpu core speed ratio is how much faster the cpu runs compared to the base clock right so one two three four Increase CPU voltage, increase CPU voltage to 1.35 volts. As the CPU runs faster, it would need more voltage to remain stable. If your overclock system crashes under load, the voltage may need increasing. 1.35. Confirm settings. That looks good for a stable overclock. New settings changes out apply to the PC until they're saved and the PC restarted. Click on the settings tab to confirm this overclock. Settings. Apply changes, left click apply changes and restart option to, well, to apply the change and restart the PC. Note that if the PC can't boot because the settings are too high, then the machine will blue screen and reset itself to default settings. This is so realistic, this. Are you sure you want to apply change and restart? Yes. Eve Evgar? Yeah, Evgar. Evgar. Omega system. It works. Double click to open the Octap. Welcome to the Octap. Oct can be used to stress test the CPU and GBU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if the CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. A CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot and load. To begin, left click continue. Start the Oct test. Click the on button. Testing. Wait for the stress test to complete. 
The CPU is hot enough. 19 seconds left, CPU is not being throttled, the temperature is rising but seems okay. Power draw is going up. Original was 4000 MHz, we aim 4400 which is 110% overclock. Is it zero? Has it finished? Testing. This is ominous. Do we have to switch it off? Do we just let it rock on? Is this a bug? We've not touched the CP, uh, the GPU, sorry. Ooh, done. A successful test. Congratulations, the CPU remained with its operating parameters in the test. This means it is a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. Let's go. Completed overclocking a CPU. Overclocking is complicated and you could damage your hardware if carries that take up with settings. We recommend you experiment overclocking on your own builds of the game to see how far you can push the limits. Challenge accepted. So we're going to continue. We'll close that. We'll exit. All done. Overclock the CPU to at least 4330 MHz. We've got 4400. It can boot up because we've seen it. So let's right click to pick it up. Oh no, we need to exit. <laughs> we need to exit first. Right, and now we can move around. Right click. Fab. And take it back to the delivery area, which is round this way. No, that's a cupboard and a wall. It's back down here, second time lucky. Definitely investing in the mouse for this is better. Every time we accidentally use the trackpad, it's like virtually impossible to control. We've lost where the delivery room is. Aha, third time lucky, it's through here. Do, 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 do. The music is awesome. Right, there's a space for it. Click to place, overclock for Arfania OBE no less, and then we'll go back to our computer, click on it, we've done all that, labour 320 parts, budget zero, we've overclocked the CPU, let's collect, woohoo, labour 320, total 320, profit 320, it's got it right this time, and we've got $695 in the bank after job three, fantastic. Okay, so that's it for this one and we will be back with you shortly with another PC Builder Simulator 2 video.